So welcome to the last batch of presentations at Jane Beyond 2011. Um, thank you all for coming. And I know you're all tired, so um, I'm, I'm going to try to make this a little bit fun, not too complicated. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you a little bit of the work that I've been doing uh, with um, SEF URLs in, in Mulajo or um, Basically, we first have to uh, define what is URL routing. URL routing means uh, um, getting the code to, to uh, getting the right code to execute um, for for a specific parameter set. And if we talk about uh, SEF URLs, it means we want to encode the parameters that we have that bring us to a special point in. Um, in our program code um, into something humanly readable. So you see the first example, um, we all know that one, and the second example would be um, how the uh, routing, uh, uh, the SAF routing is, is um, coming out at the end. And um, the biggest problem in uh, Joomla is um, its complexity in this area. Um, basically, um, everybody that I talk to says, okay, URL routing in Joomla is like a black art, like black magic. And um, if we go along what we, uh, what's happening right now in, in the Joomla core, it's we first have a component name helper router, uh, which finds out the item ID, and it creates us a string, the URL. Um, this URL is not uh, as an SEF URL. Um, then we have JRoute, where we inject this or where we hand over this URL, and JRoute does some magic with the whole URL. For example, it um, adds the menu uh, part of, of or, or the SEF menu uh, slug, if you want to call it that, like this, um, to to the final URL. And um, yeah, it, it does this in a hard-coded manner. Especially we have, a, um, we have two modes in, in there. We have a raw mode and an SEF mode. So this is fairly strict. And um, last but not least, the, the rest of the parameters that we hand in via the, this URL string uh, is handed over to a component router. And the component router then again um, creates on, on some, uh, by some black magic um, um, a string out of this that's humanly readable, like um, this is a URL. Um, and later on, of course, we have to go the whole way back and find out what the original variables were that we had in, in, in this. So, um, what have I done? First of all, um, why, why does JRoute take a, take a URL string? That isn't really uh, that flexible, because if you look at it, um, we're taking our ID variables, for example, putting it, uh, uh, concatenating it to a string, and then putting it into JRoute, parsing it again uh, into an array. And actually, what 1.5 and 1.6 both do is they are creating a, a string from this again and parsing that again. So there is a, um, quite a big speed improvement. And um, if you use arrays instead directly, this means um, for the current Joomla core, um, a speed improvement of about 5 to 10%. Um, so we already remove the whole, put it into a string, then make it an array, string, array, all, all the way around thing. We, we um, use arrays directly. Um, it still takes a string if you want, but you don't have to. Um, the second improvement is um, we're not doing hard-coded stuff anymore. We basically, we have rules. I mean, if you, if you know Nuku, um, I learned yesterday, they have command chains. This is pretty much uh, the same. So you, you have a, um, by default, it's doing nothing. 
and um, you can then apply commands to this or rules or in this specific case uh, you have uh, uh, functions that you register to run over this and these functions and rules they are flexible you can add them uh, via plugin for example and this means uh, that you for example could um, enable or could have your own um, SSL um, routines uh, some some rules how you want to apply SSL to to the different um, parameter sets or um, what I'm going to show later um, to completely remove uh, the menu system from from the URL so we don't have hard-coded stuff but more flexible stuff in there now the the interesting part is of course having a component router itself is also just a rule but Component routers are important for us, and um, there are a few more important uh, improvements in, in the component router itself. Basically, first of all, um, if you look at a component router, router right now, you have uh, two functions. And basically, okay, you can do a lot of uh, stuff in those functions. You can go into... Um, into uh, um, you can call different files. Uh, create classes in there, of course, but still uh, you first of all have to create these both uh, both these functions instead uh, this plugin that we are providing with Molajo or these uh, this code um, it uses classes, so basically you can derive from from a parent class and um, already provide functionality in there and um, the only thing that you have to take care of um, if you use such a class is that it has a build and a parse function. If that parent class already has that, you're good. Um, the next idea is that in, in the component router itself, you can also have these flexible rules. So you can also have something like a command chain from Nuku inside of um, this router. You apply um, the same you, you, nah, it's, it's not, um, you're not applying the same rules, but you can um, add them the same way that you're um, adding uh, them in, into the main Joomla router. And um, I think the most important rule is um, that we are providing default rules for components. Like, um, you don't have to find out uh, yourself, okay, um, I want to have a rule that uh, um, provides the item ID automatically for my component. Um, I want to have a rule, um, or, or finds that one out, I want to have a rule uh, that says, okay, in case of no item ID, um, uh, construct the URL in this way, and in case of um, an, an item ID, I want to have um, my um, category tree cut down so far that, um, yeah, basically y y you start from the category that you link to and ha don't have the c whole category tree in, in the URL, for example. Um, yeah, and last but not least, as I said, one of the default rules is um, automatic item ID retrieval. What does that mean? In the end, your component router looks like this. Um, there is a in, in um, our uh, plugin um, in our Molajo router plugin. You have a um, J component router class. This J component router class allows you to register your different views and their dependency um, among each other. And this means that um, our uh, component router class already knows about the structure in your component, like. Uh, you see, article um, is a child um, is a child view um, of category, and category is a child view of categories. And um, this means our um, yeah. Later on, the the default um, rules that we have can um, in in the whole thing uh, can build the URL from this information. As you can see, there's uh, also um, the name of the variable um, and the, the parent ver um, and the name of the variable for the parent view um, in, in uh, that function call. And last but not least, you can also define if, if a view is stackable. 
this is the only function um, that's not going to be uh, working in 1.5. So um, I didn't actually try using this plugin on 1.5, um, but um, removing this, and it would be working. So um, I think I'm going to uh, show you a few examples. First of all, um, OK. This is a standard Joomla 1.6. I think it's more or less um, the um, the um, 1.6.2 release. And um, if you look at the URLs, this is your standard. I hope you can read it uh, down there. It's your standard um, Joomla URLs. So. Um, Nothing special happening here. Um, now, if you go into the plugin manager and have installed the Mulajo router plugin, if you go into the plugin manager and filter by system, you see that there are three plugins. First of all, and it has to be the first one, the Mulajo router plugin. If we enable this now, Still nothing has changed. But if we now go into global configuration, you will see that your SEO settings are quite different. Uh, instead of, yeah, I want to en enable um, SEF settings, or I want to um, and, and I want to have a, a suffix, uh, you have your different rules that you, uh, that you um, can use um, listed here. And you can, for example, yeah, default behavior of Joomla, enabled it. Um, I'm using mod rewrite, and I want to have a file suffix. And we are also having the default Joomla component rules for the component router. Um, there is also an advanced compo uh, Joomla component rules uh, rule. Um, and this one allows you to have um, Joomla um, have uh, URLs without the ID in them. This is not done completely yet. But anyway, um, so we're going on save. And um, still see the URL is the same. And it also loads the correct article. Um, now, the, the interesting part is, because these are uh, flexible rules, we can also uh, say, OK, for com content, we only want to have um, WordPress style URLs. I hope this is working now, and I think I screwed this up. No, I, I, I didn't. Um, <laughs> um, for the WordPress URLs, I'm, um, I introduced a new um, a new um, specification. So um, I'm saying um, if you want to have time based uh, or timestamps in your URLs, you have to hand in um, a, a vari variable named TS with your uh, timestamp for that item. Um, this is actually not uh, happening normally in, in the Joomla. Um, Joomla layout, so uh, we have an override. And um, I renamed that folder. I have to mm. mrouter. There we go. And um, this should be it. So um, we enabled the WordPress URLs plugin. We again go to global configuration. And in there, we have the WordPress style URLs rule that we can enable. Now if we go back to the start page, you see, um, I hope it, it's, it's readable, you have 
2011, 01, 01, and then Joomla as your URL. This is just an example. You got a question or? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so we didn't change anything um, on, on the routers. We didn't change, um, we didn't really change anything um, on, on the URLs, um, but we applied a new rule and our URLs are completely different. And, um, damn it. <laughs> this is, uh, of course, that, that was uh, intended. Um, <laughs> no, but, but in general, um, this is how um, um, it, it normally should load uh, the article in, in this instance. Um, yeah, so this is what's possible. Um, I also did um, a bastardization of a REST API. Um, if you, uh, maybe it's, it's better to look at um, the, the actual code. Um, dum, dum, dum. In any case, um, this REST API, um, it, um, it takes um, the current URL that comes in, looks at uh, what's, what's, um, what's the type of re request, and then says, okay, um, I want to do a save, or I want to uh, do a view, or similar stuff. And th this is, there you go. And um, this is, um, yeah, basically, um, it's, it's very easy, but I learned from Johan that um, there's quite a few more to this than just uh, doing this routing stuff. Um, yeah. To just show you the standard router, or for example, the content, uh, contact router, for, the, for uh, this plugin, it's um, currently just mashed into one big plugin. You see, it's just those four lines of um, code up there, this register, categories, category, contact, and featured, and we got everything covered. Um, this also works for tagging, in, basically because in, in this instance, tagging uh, wouldn't be uh, different from, um, yeah, just a feature for, from a um, category view or from a, a contact view. It's just um, that it doesn't have a, a parent, and um, yeah, that's basically already it. Um, yeah, maybe uh, one little thing. This is only intended for uh, viewing uh, URLs, because basically the idea in Joomla is that every time that you uh, do an action that's different from um, view, you're, uh, at the end you're re redirecting to a view um, action, or to a viewing action. So there's no, no, um, no need to implement uh, some, some form of task uh, SEF URLs. Going back to this, questions? I must have been good. <laughs> then, thank you.